Hi, this is Simon Obstall and welcome to another tutorial for Apple Motion. And today I want to show you how to create this overlapping kinetic typography effect. Quite a lot of fun. Let's take a look at how it's done. OK, for this project, let's go with 1080 by 1920, so social media aspect ratio, uh, 25 frames a second and a duration of three seconds. And the first thing I want to do is come down and grab the rectangle tool. And I'm just going to draw a rectangle that's wider than the frame like that. I'm going to reset its transform, come over to shape and geometry. And I just want to set its height to 150. And you know, if we wanted to be picky, we could set that width to 1080, but it doesn't really matter. OK, I'm just also going to just make this a little bit darker so we can see what's going on. Just make it sort of dark gray like that. OK, then I'm going to grab the text tool and I'm going to type out my word. And I'm using this font that is called Future Earth. And I'll give you a link in the description for the size. I'm going to go with 240, I think. Center align it, come over to properties, reset the position, and then we just want to adjust the baseline so it's sitting inside our box there. So let's scroll down in the baseline like that so we're nice and centered up. So we're wanting to create this overlap effect, and we can do that very easily by just adjusting the tracking. So let's go with negative 12. OK, so it doesn't look like it's overlapping at the moment. We are going to come back and fix that later on. What we are going to do is just we're going to slightly nudge it over using the X offset so it's nice and centered like that. A nine there looks to be about right. OK, so then let's select the text and come to behaviors and text animation and sequence text. Let's add some parameters here. Let's add format and position. Let's add format and opacity. And well, we're at it. Let's add format and scale. So for this position, let's go with 540 for both the X and the Y. The opacity, let's go with zero. And for the scale, let's go with 500. For the sequencing, let's select through. Let's have a nice fat spread. Let's go with 15. For the direction, let's go with something like ends to center, I think. We can play with that later on if we want. And the other thing I want to do is set the speed to custom. And you can see that gives us a keyframe that we can work with. So let's show that in the keyframe editor. Right click there. So let's select this last keyframe here. And let's hold down the Command and Shift keys. And let's drag to the left till we're roughly at a second like that. Let's select this one here. Again, Command and Shift, and let's drag it up to two seconds. So we've got this sort of profile here. So then let's close up the keyframe editor. And what we want to do with this rectangle is we want to add it as a mask to this group. So I'm going to drag it and hold it over the group like that. And just hold for a second and you can see I've got the option to move mask to group. And now the group is masked by that rectangle and it looks like this. And I might just add a little bit of a feather to that. Let's go with something like 15 just to soften it off a little bit. So the next thing we want to do, close up that group. Let's right click and make a clone of it. Let's turn off the original group. With the clone selected, let's come to Object and Replicate. So for the size, let's go with something like 1750. Let's have one column. Let's have 15 rows. Let's set the origin, I think, to bottom. Just going to give it a little bit of color. So let's come to the color mode, select over pattern. And I'm just going to pick something that I've already made. You can use literally anything for this. Because I've got some steps here, I'm just going to give it a little bit of color repetition. So a couple of repetitions of that. And then I'm going to come down and set the source frame offset to two. And then if we run it, you can see that we're getting this sort of effect. So in order to get the appearance of that overlap, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back down into my group here to my text and appearance. And for the face, I want to choose gradient instead of color. And let's just select grayscale for that gradient. And let's open up the gradient. Let's make this color here white. And then let's just move the middle point along here till we get 
a sort of better looking gradient like that somewhere around there where we sort of 70 percent is probably quite good for that middle position and then i'm just going to set this angle to negative 45 and you can see the result of that is that we do get this sort of shading that does make it look as though we've got some sort of overlap of the text and that is actually really quite nice and obviously we can do a number of different things here with the animation we know we can select uh, center for the origin it slightly messes with our overlap look but it still looks quite nice or we could use top if we wanted looks like this and we can also come back down into our sequence text here and we can choose maybe center to ends doesn't look quite as good or we could choose uh, random even it looks quite interesting or we could use forwards anyway so plenty of options there so the only th other thing i want to do is to come to the library and generators grab a color solid drag it in behind everything else and just to get it to mesh with our design, let's pick uh, one of the darker colors off here. Something like that looks quite good. Just whatever fits with your foreground. And finally, to, I just want to point out, which I haven't yet, is that with the sequence text, we can do anything we want with these values. I mean, it's pretty arbitrary what I've done. We might not like that scale thing, so let's reduce that to 100 so we don't get any of that scaling. And we might decide we don't want it to go off to the side, so let's set that X value to 540. And then we get a much simpler sort of up-down version, which looks like this. So there you go. That is pretty much the effect. And, uh, you know, plenty of customizable options there. Hope you have fun with it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.